We've been working with uh, Mayor Tory and his staff uh, going uh, forward in a process to create a new partnership which will uh, have the upload to the uh, subway system at the end of the day and uh, it's been a, a very great uh, relationship we've had where we're moving forward and uh, covering the issues as they're coming forward. Uh, you know unfortunately in City Council there's a, a few councillors that will say no to anything this government does and I think they should be open-minded and take a look at what what's coming forward uh, at the end of the day. Well, the city have a say. You said, you said this morning that everything is negotiable but is own but you also said that the plan is to to own so is ownership negotiable is that off the table you absolutely will own either the existing network or the new network well I mean at the start of the day we we have an end goal uh, of what the upload will look like and that would be the province uh, owning the subway stations the rail uh, being in charge of future development and builds uh, taking care of the maintenance system and the TTC would continue to run day-to-day -day operations and keep the fare box and that's our end goal and uh, we're trying to get there through negotiations and we'll, we'll see what happens as going forward but it's been very positive with the city mayor Tory has been a great partner uh, during this discussion and our staffs are, are, are getting forward on but this that issue. Part is not negotiable. That part is non-negotiable ownership that's non-negotiable everything is on the table to have the discussion we have an end goal that we want to reach and uh, uh, we're moving forward to try to find that solution with the city how are you going to your letter shows that uh, the province has some very different ideas about what these projects should look like mm -hmm. for instance why the heck would you want to run the Eglinton West line underground what it's going to cost the bomb well, I mean, through our negotiation process with the, uh, the upload, the terms of reference, uh, the city asked us uh, to uh, submit uh, ideas that we have on, on future development with regards uh, uh, to uh, future expansions of the projects. And uh, we've outlined uh, uh, four great uh, projects that are, are being asked, and uh, uh, we are uh, giving our opinion on it. And going forward, we're going to continue to work to the city to, to make those plans uh, come to reality at the end of the day and uh, improve the ridership for the people on the TTC. If you why bury Eglinton West? Minister, you didn't answer the question. It's so expensive. Why would you bury Eglinton West? You know, those details uh, of the plan going forward uh, will come out uh, when we reach the timeline where uh, uh, the city and, and uh, the province have come to agreement. Uh, uh, we are making decisions that are best value for the taxpayer dollar, but at the same time, we're focusing on the rider to ensure that uh, uh, they get from point A to point B in a clear manner, and uh, we're going to continue to work with the city on this. How are you going to change routes and not slow things down? What people really... Minister, a lot of folks in these communities felt that they're almost at that finish line and now another curveball is being thrown at them. What do you have to say to residents who might have to wait years now for some of these projects to be completed because again there's another vision. Well, I, you know, tell the people of, of Toronto and the riders of the TTC is uh, uh, municipal governments after municipal governments have been unable to expand the TTC. They've had one project over the last 15 years. Um, you know, they're they're still way off the market actually having these come to completion. Uh, an upload by the province of Ontario in a partnership with the city of, of Toronto. Um, we're going to see uh, these projects finish actually quicker than the current plan of action. And you'll see that in our plan when we bring, when we bring it out. Minister, Cynthia Lafford was Cynthia? at Toronto City Hall for four years and he couldn't get a single thing built. Why can he get something built now? Well, I mean, you know, we're going forward. We, the province uh, has the ability to not only... Uh, but he had the opportunity at Toronto City Hall. He had his shot. Well, I think you're speaking to how the system operates. The system, current system today isn't working. Right now, uh, you have... Uh, uh, currently 25 different councillors uh, around the table uh, with all their own ideas and every time a decision is made it comes back to council and in some way it's revamped another and then they have to go to the federal government and ask for money they have to come to the province and ask for money with the upload the province uh, already has that uh, ability to design and build the uh, the future TTC projects and and therefore that removes a lot of the bureaucracy that's occurring uh, it's partnership with Toronto they want these projects to go further and we're going to make that happen